What's going on guys and welcome back to Gran Turismo 6 and another race car build. My vehicle today is the Mercedes-Benz SL55 AMG. I saw this car and thought, well, well, why, why, why not? Why not? I couldn't, you know, I don't really have any particular cars that I'm wanting to do for this series at the moment. So I saw this and thought it would be a pretty decent one to just check out, see how it went. So, the power in this car, we've got 550 brake horsepower, which is pretty decent on the power. That is some fairly decent power right there. However, the weight is the thing that I think is going to let this car down. 1,451 kilograms, which I believe makes this car the, uh, the heaviest one by quite a bit. I mean, looking through here, I don't think we've ever had a car into the 1,400 kilograms. Um, we've had a few in 1,300, like the Holden Commodore. Um, and the Range Rover. However, I don't think anything's ever got into the 1,400s. So this is the heaviest car by a fair amount that we've had um, on this series so far. And the power's okay, but it's not really very high up there. Um, however, you know, it's it's kind of above average, I'd say. Um, this means that the power to rate ratio is quite bad. Um, 2.63, which once again I think is the worst power to rate ratio we have had, uh, just looking through right now, it does seem to be, well, actually no, the Maserati Gran Turismo S 1.83, so um, it's like the second worst, um, second or third worst power rate ratio of 1.63, uh, 2.63, so um, yeah, not, not fantastic, not a fantastic power rate ratio, it's front engine rear wheel drive, as you might expect, um, and it's a bit of an interesting car. Um, I thought the weight could kind of help it out a little bit. Um, it is a little bit too much weight. I find that cars around 1,200 kilograms seem to be the best for this series. Um, so this is a little bit heavy. Um, but you know, it's... it's okay. Here are the main problems with it. Um, the brakes are actually quite good. The brakes are actually a lot better than I was expected with it being a heavier car. I was a little bit worried about how the brakes would be. As you could probably see out of that corner there though, the grip isn't great. Um, going around most corners is not too much of a problem. It's putting the power, putting on the power out of corners that can be quite, um, quite misleading I suppose. You kind of go into the corner thinking, yeah I have plenty of grip. You know, you actually have plenty of cornering grip or a decent amount of cornering grip. But then if you go and put the power on too soon out of the corner, it'll kick out and you'll start sliding and it's a bit of a twitch I mean, it's relatively controllable however it's a little bit of a twitchy kind of slide isn't the best thing in the world and I think that's what really um or really kind of um makes this car not great it's also quite a long car as you can probably see quite a long and I suppose fairly wide car um, so it's not the best at cornering I mean Altogether, like I said, corner and grip on that is pretty decent. It's a pretty decent car in that aspect. However, you do have to be quite careful and um, trying to fight with that kind of twitchy oversteer that you get out of the corners can sometimes mean that you end up running a little bit wide with some corners, uh, just trying to you know correct it and make sure it doesn't slide. So um, altogether, it's not it's not the best car to drive. It is a little bit of a handful. Um, it's not terrible though. Um, we've had worse cars to drive on the series. However, it just isn't that great. So now we're going to go on to the final lap in cockpit view so you guys can see this car from the inside. So here we go.
Alright, so we go on to the time for the Mercedes-Benz SL55 AMG and we are quite a way down the order in 19th place with a 56.205. Yeah, we're, we are quite a way down the order. Uh, we're just beating out the Lotus Carlton, the Audi TT Coupe and the Ford Mustang V8 GT. So we're only beating 3 cars, there's only 22 cars on the whole leaderboard. So we are a fair way down the order. Uh, we're missing out to, you know, I mean the rest of the cars, uh, the closer ones however being the Mitsubishi Lancer Evo, the Roth RGT, the Holden Commodore, Ferrari 512 BB, um, we're just missing out to those cars. I think the main reason is it is a bit heavy, um, it's a bit too heavy for the circuit I think and also that, that oversteer can be quite annoying, it's a bit twitchy and is not particularly great, something that you'd maybe expect from lighter cars, however um, yeah I think the weight just kind of makes this car a bit, it's not great, its acceleration is not great either with the um, with the weight, um, however yeah it's not a terrible car, however for this circuit it is not great. But anyway, thank you guys very much for watching, if you enjoyed please go ahead like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.